Mach's Let's go. Let's go. We were supposed to have a coffee this morning, but we just realized we don't have the breakfast included. We're gonna go and see my cousin that's downstairs waiting for us and then we're gonna go and get a nice Mexican coffee. PB means plant the bajo. So we just had our coffee and now we're ready for the day. We're gonna rent some bikes and we're gonna go to El Zócalo and then we're gonna go to Chapultepec Park. So it's gonna be a nice day today. We found these bikes whilst wandering through the city. We paid for a three day pass, but there are other plans you can choose from. It was a fun and cheap option to explore the city. Just keep an eye on the time, as you'll have to pay extra if you go over the time limit. We got our bike. I like your bike. Yeah, I like your bike. This place is huge, so we're gonna try and see why we're weekend today. Because <laughs> apparently, just one day is not enough to see the whole thing. So we're gonna do our best. This feels like the Central Park of Mexico City. The first place we decided to visit in the park was the Chapultepec Castle, which is one of the most iconic places in the whole city. We paid 80 pesos for entrance fee, and depending on how big your bag is or if you have any food and drinks with you, you might have to rent a locker. The castle is located at the top of a hill, so make sure you're prepared for an uphill walk. But don't worry, you will be rewarded with an amazing view as soon as you get to the top. Built in the 18th century, the castle has been used for different purposes throughout the years, such as imperial residence, military academy, observatory, and presidential residence. But nowadays, it works as a museum and exhibition rooms full of history. 
If you're planning on going to the castle, just make sure you have at least three hours for your visit, as the place is huge and there are so many things to see. So we're gonna go all of the way up there. That's one of the tallest towers in Mexico City. The last floor over there, they have a place where you can just see the whole city. So we're gonna go up there. Uh, there's a protest coming behind you. The best way to get a feel of the sheer size of the city is to experience the view from the Torre Latino. Located in the historic centre, the tower originally opened in 1956. It has 44 floors and stands at 182 metres tall. It was built as the headquarters of the insurance company La Latino America Seguros. Up here. Be ready. Boom. Yeah. But come on, for the price of 150 pesos for one hour visit, you can't go wrong with the amazing 360 view of the city. There are two museums located on the floors below the viewing deck. The museums contain vast amounts of information about the city's development and take you on a journey through time. Spanish, the way they construct like, the yeah. city is like a round plaza and the churches. So these are called cuadras. What happened to the pyramids? They just built on top of it. Yeah. Definitely worth a visit after seeing the city from above. The price is only an extra 30 pesos on top of the standard ticket. I'm feeling like a cheeky taco. What is a cheeky taco? It's a taco when it's about to be 12 o'clock. Well, let's go and find out. Yeah. If there's something to love about Mexico City, it's the food, especially street food, which is found everywhere. One of our favorites is Taqueria Los Cocuyos in the historic center. But to be honest, pretty much every place we ate at was absolutely delicious and affordable. So don't be afraid to try something new. So I just had my chicky taco and it was delicious. It was so good. So right now we're walking through Alameda. It's a park, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a plaza park. Some horses over there. Let's go and see. <laughs> There's a mariachi with some horses. We found ourselves walking through Alameda Park frequently as it's located near lots of landmarks. The park is so green and well maintained. Every time we went, it was full of life. You can see locals hanging out and having fun. And depending on the day of the week, you can even see tianguis. Tell the story. Well, basically we were walking down the street and someone grabbed my arm and sprayed perfume on me. So be careful when you walk 
and there's loads of people around you. It's just common sense, right? There's lots of people. Yeah. Don't wear your bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I had my phone in my pocket, which is a mistake. So I gave it to him and I'm glad I did because like my pocket is not very deep. So just anyone can take it. Bueno, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> Located in the heart of the historical center and surrounded by federal buildings including the official residence of the president, this plaza is where most of the main events of the city take place. 